While birds often radiate beauty, elegance, and delicacy, they can also evoke awe and caution among us terrestrial beings. As they navigate our skies, their sharp beaks and talons stand poised. Here's a look at the seven most fearsome birds gracing our world. Number seven, the great horned owl. Now I'm back on owls, where this time around, I'm going right for the owl that's been known to attack humans with certain criteria. The great horned owl, easily one of the most known owl species out there. The great horned owl is a terror at night when it hunts, and while it doesn't openly hunt humans, it has been known to attack them when the need arises. But what does that mean exactly? The great horned owl. <laughs> Well, like many birds, the great horned owl is one that's very territorial at best. But because humans don't always see their nests, they go owl's range, and when they do, they end up getting attacked, sometimes in a rather violent fashion. Oh, and it's also an owl that's incredibly common. So you could be in an area right now that has one of its nests, and you likely wouldn't even know it. That is, until the owl tries to slice you up, and it's too late. Ha, ah, sorry about your luck. Number six, the Great Northern Loon. The Great Northern Loon goes by a lot of names, but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be said to be dangerous in its own right. Though at first you would probably think it's just a typical bird, given how it goes about its day. For example, the common loon eats a variety of animals, which include fish, crustaceans, insect larvae, mollusks, and occasionally aquatic plant life. They swallow most of the prey underwater where it's caught, but some larger items are first brought to the surface. Now this does make them a dangerous hunter, as their prey might not see them coming until it's too late. However, that's not even the most dangerous thing about them in context, because what makes them really dangerous is that they have tons of parasites that can live within them, and even on the outside of their bodies. So if you do get too close to them or you try to eat one without knowing what it is, you could possibly be in trouble. Number five, the pelican. One could argue that the pelican is in fact one of the most fascinating birds in the world today for one basic reason. It's a bird that has its own built-in advantage for catching food via its large mouth. What it has is a kind of pouch and when they fly, they'll dip that pouch into the water and have a wide area of effect to try and capture food. It can be a very effective method. One myth about the bird though is that it keeps the fish for a while before eating it. It doesn't though, it actually eats them instantly. So, what makes the pelican so dangerous? Well, would you want to be in the water near where fish are? with this bird swooping down on you potentially and scooping you up into its mouth? No, you don't. I didn't think so. Number four, shrikes. Now, it's no secret that shrikes are formidable predators. The grayscale songbirds of the open country might look as harmless as mockingbirds, but these black-masked butcher birds, as they're known, pack more fierceness in every ounce than any other bird in the areas they live in and that makes them scary by default. What are they so fierce about getting though? Well, they eat grasshoppers, crickets, and beetles, lizards and mice and frogs, and even small birds. Oh, and they'll also go after birds that can be as big as they are. One was once observed carrying off a northern cardinal. So yeah, that makes them scary and it makes us glad that we're not on the menu. Number three, vultures. Now I'm back to vultures. Just can't get away from these carrion eaters, can we? But that is in fact what makes them so dangerous because they seem to know when death is either coming or where it is, and that's never a good sign. What's more, there are actually two distinct groups of vultures out there in the world, leaving you more reason to not get close to them so that they don't eat you when your time comes. Ah, ah, ah. 
The irony here is that while they do indeed eat the dead, they're on the way to being dead themselves as they're on the endangered species list. Granted, some wouldn't be sad that they're gone, but that's a dangerous thing in and of itself because every single creature out there affects the world and any loss would end up being big. Number two, cuckoos. Why in the world is the cuckoo bird so dangerous? Because they're cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Haven't you seen those commercials? All right, back to serious business. The attribute for which the cuckoos are best known is the habit of brood parasitism found in all of the cuculinae and three species of another one I can't even begin to pronounce. It consists of laying the eggs singly in the nests of certain other bird species to be incubated by the foster parents who then rear the young cuckoo. Yes, these birds literally dump their children off on other bird species and they get away with it. How crazy is that? But for them, it just seems to work. Number 1. Swans Now you may not have been expecting this last one, were you? Because swans are the kind of creature that a few would look at and go, oh, that's a dangerous bird. Swans are known to be graceful, beautiful, elegant, and endearing. At a distance at least because certain swans, like the mute swan, are known to be a danger to people, animals, and even plants. This is a divine bird, but it's also an invasive species, one that's not afraid to defend its territory with aggression that you wouldn't expect from it. But they have aggression in spades to give out to people and animals that underestimate them and just so I can put a nice cherry on top here, yes, they've been found to attack humans in the past. So again, it's just okay to admire them. Just make sure it's from a distance. And that's all from the realm of birds you should be wary of were you surprised that some of them were defined as being truly dangerous. And which of these birds do you honestly have in your local area? Do you know of anyone who was hurt by one of these birds? Let me know everything and every juicy detail in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.